Hello everybody, we are here at the Inland Empire Railway Museum and we are going to go check out the trains here in Paris, California. So come along and join us so for the adventure. The first cool thing about the Paris Railway Museum, well it's the Inland Empire Railway Museum, are these ticket booths right here. And so if they look familiar to you, they should. Maybe you've gone to Disneyland. These are the old ticket booths back before there was a parking structure. And back before there was Disney's California Adventure, these were in front of the parking lot and these were the ticket booths that you would buy your tickets for Disneyland tickets. Not much to see inside of them. I don't think you can see inside them all. They're blackened out, but kind of cool. It's a Saturday here at the Inland Empire Railway, the Southern California Inland Empire Railway Museum. I don't know, they keep on changing their name. They used to be called the Paris Museum. Then they were the Inland Empire Railway Museum, and now they're the Southern California Museum. And it looks like both the trains and trolleys are working today. So I think we might start our journey by taking a ride on one of the passenger trains. So I think that's what we're gonna go do is see if we can get on one of those passenger trains. We've got two trolleys running and a passenger train running, so that's kind of like cool. The main line is running every hour, so we're gonna take a trip on the main line on one of these 50s passenger tri style trains. These would have been old Amtrak from the 50s. And we're off. It looks like we're gonna go backwards today, so we'll go out and back on this line and see the sights on our first train ride for the day. Oh, look, there's an old San Diego Red Trolley there. That's kind of cool. I remember riding the San Diego Red Trolleys many a time. It says Petco Park on the top, but these would also be the ones that would go down to San Ysidro. So, kind of cool. Now it looks like we're going forward on the train, so we're going to go to the other side and see where it goes on that side. You can see the Middleton Museum in there. That had a lot of, used to have a lot of dining equipment inside. We just got off the main line here and that was a fun ride and this one leaves on the half hour so we might be going on that one next and just seeing what's different trains that we can ride today. They're the same metro line cars that are on the metro line today in LA. They're still operational. This must be an older one. Looks like this was from the blue line that goes downtown Los Angeles that would have gone from 7th Street Metro Center down to Long Beach. So it's kind of interesting which one this would have been. This particular train must be pretty new because the advertisements are pretty new on it. Um, looks like it was used for the blue line and the expo line. And it's interesting, you gotta take a stairway down. Coming off that stairway there, I never realized how high up these metro lines are from, from the station, but you never notice because when you're at a regular metro line station, you just walk right there. So that's what they're talking about when they say, mind the gap. Now we're gonna try to ride one of the older trains here, the 1201. So according to the sign here, this particular train was built in 1921 and it was built um, for St. Louis by the St. Louis Car Company and then it went to Los Angeles and was down in Los Angeles and then it was part of the Los Angeles Transit Line until 1955 and ended up here in the museum in 1958 and it's been running since 1958 here in the museum. So what I like about these trains is they put a whole bunch of classic 1940s and 1950s ads on there so you can see all the different classic ads from that era on there so this main line well there's the main line over here and this is the museum line so this one will take us a tour inside the museum going around it'll probably be like a 10 minute trip around the museum to see the inside track and so we'll have fun coming out that here is for the day pass. Children under five are free. Five to 11 are eight. 
adults 12 and older are 12 and families are $40 or you can get memberships too and there's all sorts of pins and t-shirts that you can get inside the gift shop back here was a storage house for the railway this is actually the real Pinacati station right here this is what they would store stuff and basically this station here was just a supply line for the mountains they would collect different minerals from the mountains out here and then they would bring it in here to Pinacati to get to the main line so there's the 3100 that I was talking about that's getting ready to go on to the museum line today and we'll go into the Los Angeles Railway um, house right now and check out the other trolleys inside and here they hold all the trolleys that used to be part of Los Angeles the most interesting to me right here is the Descanso trolley that used to be a funeral trolley so this used to go out to the cemetery by the bay and on the side here it's kind of cool you can see where they would store the casket so that's kind of interesting and I guess the concept is you could ride along with your loved ones out to the cemetery. Steam trolley is in this um, warehouse here. Unfortunately, a lot of them need a lot of work, but I guess that's what donations are for. Here we have an 1806 trolley, 1873 trolley car built from the trolley car from San Francisco. You can see where it would connect there to the main line and you could ride the rails. This train is from 1910, and it's kind of cool. It is a Japanese trolley, so kind of cool that it came from Kyoto. So, very nice plush seats inside. This trolley's job was to be what they called a termite squasher. And so what they would do is they would sprinkle the rails with sand, and then that would keep the slicker slots of the, the slicker parts of the railways dry so that they wouldn't have any problems on the rails. We're into the Grizzly Flats Railroad shed, which is home to the Grizzly Flats Railroad, which was owned by Ward C. Kimball. So we'll go check that out right now. And there it is. The Grizzly Flats Railway, if it looks a lot like a Disney car, well it is. Um, it was all called Chloe and she was owned by the famous Ward um, C. Kimball of Disneyland and look they even have an old Disneyland passenger um, car there. Back then it was forward because it wasn't a side view. The side view only came until 1964 when they added that in for the, the dinosaur exhibit in the Grand Canyon. Nevada, which is really interestingly drawn because of course it was owned by Ward Kimball, so it has some beautiful artwork on it. it. Looks like they're redoing the wheels on it right now. So maybe they'll get it running soon. That would be pretty cool. Quick look at all the gauges. Got to make sure that the train always runs on time. You can see a model of the Emma Nevada all put together as part of the Grizzly Flats Railway. And there is the pilot that just got restored. So looks like they're just slowly getting it together in pieces. So it'll take them a while. Right here, this is called the Signal Garden. And so you can press all the lights and watch everything move. So let's see if we can press some of the signals here. The quadrant wigwag. There it goes. And 
we have a magnetic flagman. There it goes. Banjo signal. Some more colored lights. There you go. When you just can change the lights. Kind of a fun hands-on exhibit here. And there's the semaphore. That one's not on today. Well, I think that's going to do it for today here at the Inland Empire, the Southern California, whatever you want to call it, Railway Museum here in Paris, California. Um, hope you enjoyed this little trip, this little view. It's not much. There's still so much more to see. There's so many more um, sheds to see that I did not go into. And there's always events out here. I volunteer for one at the Thomas the Train event, which is fun for the kids that happens in November. That's a big one. And there's like other events like the dino trains and they do civil war and reenactments here as well. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.